welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kyla and we are actually not talking about books today. In this video I'm going to share with you all of my current lifestyle favorites. I used to do these videos like once every quarter and I feel like I've gotten away from it a little bit so I figured it was time for an update. I love to throw these in every once in a while just so you can see what else I'm loving besides books. Like you do get some of it in my vlogs but I love to have it in like one space. One for me to like look back on but also I love watching a favorites video. Like I used to watch them all the time when they were all the rage back in like 2010, 2011 in the beauty YouTube days. Like favorites I love because it's just an amazing way to like see what a person is loving and also get recommendations. So I'm gonna share all of my lifestyle favorites with you. I have beauty, tech, podcast, TV, music, fitness, I have it all. If you're excited, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and dive in. Okay, I'm gonna start with music because I only have really two to mention and like this is not done on purpose you guys I promise you but it's just what my earballs have been loving okay so the first is obviously anything Taylor Swift. <laughs> I really feel like I just cannot say music without saying her because she is my most listened to artist. Midnight's has come out since my last favorites video so like obviously the entirety of Midnight's so good and then we just got blessed we just got blessed with Speak Now and like the most incredible vault tracks I'm, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Electric touch, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Timeless? <laughs> no. When Emma falls in love? No. Absolutely not. They're all amazing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just have to put it out there. Literally anything. Anything. Hits different? You're losing me? No. No, 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 no. We are not okay. We are not okay after those songs. So um, I have to put that first. But also, you guys, I can't not say it, but like, I swear to you, this is not on purpose, but also the 1975's new album. <laughs> okay, not new, but like new-ish, being funny in a foreign language. Look, I've been a 1975 fan for a long time, okay? But that album is actually so good. I love this blend of like the 1975 and Jack Antonoff. I'm a Jack Antonoff stan, okay? That man can do no wrong. Bleachers, are you kidding me? Like if you need to be in a good mood, you're listening to Bleachers. But the 1975 Jack Antonoff combo, perfection and being funny in a foreign language is such an incredible album. I don't think I have a skip on that album which is like saying something so I had to put it on here but I swear to you that was not done on purpose. It's just what I've been listening to and what's been making me so happy. All right, let's move right along into TV. We're just gonna like keep the entertainment portion of this going. And my first favorite is Smartless, which is also a podcast as well. But really, it was the HBO season of Smartless that really just did it for me. And if you don't know, Smartless is a podcast with Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Sean Hayes, which like are three of the funniest people in Hollywood, in my opinion. If you like dry, sarcastic humor while also poking fun at each other humor, they are the, like the trio for you. And they did an HBO special where they took their podcast on the road and they had different guests but it really was just like them hanging out going on road trips and 
Jason Bateman is such a passenger princess. It is so funny to me. I just like would not get that vibe from him usually, but oh my god, it was so funny. And him and Will were just like taking the piss out of each other. Yes, I did just use that phrase like, the entire time. And then you just have like Sean in the background being like, everything's great, you guys, you know, we're fine. And just like brings the positivity. And it was just so funny. And the scene of them dancing on the lake is like, forever ingrained in my brain and like whenever I'm having a bad day I just like conjure up that image and it's the best thing ever so definitely recommend it like I said if you have like dry sarcastic humor and you like when friends make fun of each other this is for you and it was so funny and it just like put a smile on my face I freaking loved it and then I can't let this video go by without talking about like the major shows that came out I would say I feel like my last favorites video was a while ago. So, so these aren't new, but like new since my last favorites video and like obviously The Last of Us. Now, I was not a fan of the show at first. The first episode I was like, this is okay. Like I didn't play the game. My husband played the game. I watched him play the game. And so it was like very movie-like while he was playing the game. Um, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll watch the show. But it's not like my cup of tea. That's not like my go-to kind of show. So the first episode I was like, uh, I don't really know. But like then once Ellie comes in and like watching their relationship flourish and change and like grow and just them and their bond. And what really helped me me get into it was actually watching interviews of Pedro and Bella and like actually their relationship in real life. So that really I was like, oh my god, they're so wholesome and so cute. And like Pedro is so funny. So like watching that and then having the show like that helped me fall in love more with the characters and the show overall. So like obviously it had to go on this list. And then also also my man Tim Burton did Wednesday and like it was perfect it was perfect Janet Ortega as Wednesday is the most perfect casting I have ever seen I was floored absolutely floored her performance was truly one of a kind and like so special she took that role and ran with it and like just made me the happiest and also I love the casting to the original comic I know there was some like upset around like oh my god that is not Gomez like if you've watched the movies from like what the 80s or 90s or whatever like that obviously doesn't look like the Gomez but it is Gomez from the comic Comics, and I appreciate the nod to that Gomez and like bringing that around because that was the OG like that was the original so seeing that come to life in the show I was really happy about and I loved the casting I thought they did a great job and the guy who did Thing so talented so talented and I just love that entire cast and like the overall arc of the show like I just thought it was so good and I'm so sad that everything is going to be delayed for season two but like you know what in support of the actors and writers like you just have to I get it I get it And then we have some podcast favorites. So my first favorite is actually not a true crime one. Shockingly, I know most of the time, almost all of the podcasts I listen to are true crime podcasts because that's just who I am. But this first one is actually a health and fitness podcast and it's fun and game. And it's done by Brittany Lepton, who is a fitness influencer. I actually follow some of her workouts, which I will talk about later. Um, but she has a podcast called Fun and Gains, which I just love the name. Um, and she's really helped me like become more confident in my lifting journey. When I started lifting weights again and like really going after like building muscle. And that wasn't like the lifestyle I had before I really had to kind of seek out outside inspiration of people who were kind of in that lifestyle so I could you know get advice on macros and just like lifting overall and like not being afraid to like lift heavy and like you're not gonna get bulky it's fine you could lift heavy and she was one of the people that I turned to I just love her personality even though I am like so much older than her <laughs> I love her personality she is so fun and she She's just so brutally honest. She preaches like balance and like 
not seeing food as like good or bad and she her whole just a fitness approach is something that I really appreciate so when I heard that she had a podcast I was like oh my god diving in and like literally listened to like the entire backlist of her podcast and I love it it's something that I look forward to every single week and definitely she's like inching me closer to being able to like feel confident in a gym again because right now I only work out from home and like someday I'm gonna max out on my weights here. It's coming very soon, so like, I need that build up of like, yeah, I can be a gym girly again. I can be a gym girly again. And she is definitely helping me get there. So I have to give a shout out to that podcast. And then the other two that I have are actually true crime podcasts because um, that's just my life. So the first one is The Deck Investigates. So there's actually two kind of podcasts in one. So there's The Deck, which is a true crime podcast and they do like an individual episode on someone per week. And it's cool because they name them after like the deck of cards so they'll say like you know blah 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 the queen of hearts this week and they'll go over it's always cold case missing persons at least that's the majority of their cases but then they had like a spin-off season called the deck investigates where they took one case and expanded it over the whole season and it was so good and binge worthy so highly recommend if you are a true crime junkie like me listening to it it was so good and so well done and then one that I recently discovered was actually called Deep Cover. They are in their third season, I believe, and that's the one that I listened to. So I haven't listened to the previous two, so I don't know if those are any good, but the third season I found fascinating. It's about following this case of a woman who takes on a different identity and like the search for her and how she chose her identity and how that linked back to a missing persons case and like the wild ride that that she went on and she is actually on the podcast like later in the episodes they do an interview with her to like find out like what was her reasoning behind everything like what was her mindset and, and like it's wild it is absolutely wild so highly recommend it's called deep cover I will have everything that I talk about linked below like as much as I can so in case you're wondering or just want like a clickable link it'll be in the description. But yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend that because it just like, my jaw was on the floor. Like, I just don't understand how people get there, but like she talked about her mindset and like where she was mentally and how she got there. And it was just truly fascinating. So definitely recommend checking it out. All right, let's move on to some beauty and products and all of that. I'm gonna start with some beauty and like makeup hair kind of things and then I'll move on to like clothing and other things like that. So the first thing that I have been obsessed with is doing like a more natural makeup look. Now I always do a more natural makeup look, but I have really been leaning into like the browns recently. So doing like brown mascara and just like a light eyeshadow and that kind of thing. So I wanted to talk about two products that I've been using and loving recently. The first one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Chocolate Mascara. This is a brown mascara and like I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Black Mascara. Like that is one of my favorites, the brush the brush okay there's just something about this brush that just does it for me i just love it so much um so i wanted to try out the brown one i will say this does take a few coats to get to like where i want it to be but like i'm always doing a few coats of mascara so it's not any different for me but if you are like a one swipe and go kind of gal this might not be the one for you, but I like to layer it up and I just find that I just love the look of brown mascara, especially in the summertime where I'm not wearing as much makeup in general. Like I always go lighter in the summertime. I usually just do like a BB cream, some blush and like whatever on my eyes and brows, of course, which I will get to. So I love the lighter look of the brown mascara. I also just think that it really brings out my bluish green eyeballs and yeah will I say this is like the best brown mascara ever no because this is the first one I've tried but I can say that I am really loving it and it does stay in place like I don't find it flaking throughout the day or anything like that so love that and then for brows 
this one this one this one i love this so much um this is nyx thick it and stick it <laughs> brows so it is a brow gel like a tinted brow gel um but also helps like them stick in place and this works so well like I can comb them up and they aren't going anywhere but I also love that it has a little bit of color to it and there are so many shades so many shades um I went with the brunette one because I like my brows to be just a little bit darker because they are really light when I don't have anything on them so I usually fill in my brows with like a like a brow powder and then put this on top but I also like on days where I'm just mascara and brows and that's it I can just put this on and I'm good to go because it does have a little bit of color in it which I really like so I can use it for both I can just use it to set or I can use it to like be my sole brow product and I just love it I just love it and then I have two hair products the first one I feel like I have been saying for so long that like I need sunscreen for my scalp and like I don't want to put on just spray sunscreen like normal spray sunscreen because it's gonna get my hair all greasy and gross but I have not found like a scalp sunscreen that I feel really worked or like worked for my hair and then I just saw this all over TikTok I'm not even gonna lie and was like oh Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. And it is the Sun Bum Scalp and Hair Mist. And like, let me tell you that this does not grease up my hair at all. I literally, like, it's just got a spray. I just slick down my hair, like, and then spray my part because I am notorious for burning my scalp. It's just like, because it's not something that I ever put sunscreen on. And like, I do wear a hat, but like not all of the time. And I burn my scalp all the time. And my scalp is like something that I'm really trying to take care of, um, especially as I'm growing my hair out. So I'm really trying to take care of it. So I'm was happy to find this. It is a little bit hard at first, but don't let that deter you because it just goes away. Like I just spray it on, I like pat it in, I let it dry. It is a little bit hard and then I just brush it and it's good. Like I do, it doesn't stay hard or anything like that. It doesn't say crispy <laughs> or anything and it does not grease up my hair in the slightest. Will it work for everyone? I'm not sure, but it works for me and I am so happy and my scalp is so happy to not be scorched all of the time. And then lastly is a hair mask actually. I have been really working on my hair, like I just said, like scalp treatment, but also just my ends as I am trying to Oh my god this is, has water in it because I just took it out of the shower um I'm really trying to like take care of my ends too I desperately need to get my hair done and cut but like I'm just trying to take care of it overall and I found this again on TikTok TikTok girlies they just know they just know and I was so happy when I saw that this was literally only $8 on Amazon. Um, I am not even gonna try to pronounce the brand of this. There's a hair on it. Because this is a Korean brand, I believe. It's an Asian brand. And this is just Ser 100 and it's a collagen peptide mask for your hair. And let me tell you, the way my hair feels after I use this, Oh my god, my, I swear it's just like drinking it. It just drinks it <laughs> and makes it so hydrated and my ends are always so happy and my hair just feels so much smoother overall. And like $8, you guys, like I, you can't go wrong. It works wonders. The back packaging is all like in Korean, so I can't read it to you, but there are English instructions on the box and I just apply it like I do any mask, like from my ears down, let it sit in the shower for 10 minutes. You could also get out of the shower, do some things and then go back in and rinse it out. But like, I don't have time for that. Um, so I just leave it in like as I'm shaving and then rinse it out and oh, it's like so silky smooth. And and I just love it and like collagen is really good for your hair and just overall good for your body and like yes 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 
All right, we're gonna move on to clothing and they're all workout clothes because honestly that is what I'm in 90% of the time so we're kind of moving into like the fitness side of my favorites starting with clothing the first thing is these workout tanks this is like a sports bra and a tank top in one this is not anything like new or exciting or whatever but like they are perfect for the summertime and I like these ones particular because they're kind of a square neck and I just find that that's really flattering. I have kind of a, like an hourglass figure and I just find that that is really flattering when I have like a square or open neck as she says so she's wearing like a high neck tank top but like you know we can't do it all the time can we um but i also like the thicker straps and it's very like it's got these seams in the back it's just very form-fitting it's the perfect crop length for high-waisted things it only shows like a tiny bit of skin but if you have something that's like really high-waisted they kind of overlap and i just love it got amazon will link below a bit in white and also in black and i love them and then also, these are like a Lululemon Align dupe off Amazon. The brand is Hey Nuts. Yes, that's actually what it's called. But these are like the Hawthorne line, which I thought was funny because that's my maiden name. Um, but what I love about these, so these are a five or six inch inseam, which I prefer. I am not doing short shorts anymore. I have thigh eaters, okay? My thighs eat everything. It just it is what it is okay and like I don't have time to be pulling down my shorts no absolutely not so I always go for a five or six inch or longer if I want like more of a bike short style but this hits like mid thigh for me and it's perfect it's just long enough where it doesn't ride up and I don't have to pull them down but also they have pockets and like if you go on a lot of walks you know having pockets is key on your workout clothes because you just throw your phone in there you don't have to worry about a bag or whatever I do have one of those like dupe for Lululemon crossbody bags, which I also wear as like a fanny pack when I'm walking. But like, if I don't have to wear that, especially in the summertime and like be sweating or whatever, pockets, man, just pockets, yes. Um, these are so comfy, so stretchy, an amazing material, like I said, from what I've heard, now I have never owned a Lululemon Align anything, but from what I've heard, these are an incredible dupe for them, and like honestly, I need them in more colors. They also come in leggings too, like with pockets. They also have them without pockets, so like really pick your fancy here. And then my last one is from Gymshark. These are my new favorite shorts. I'm a shorts gal, especially this time of year, but also I just really prefer to work out in shorts. I just find it so much more comfortable. So I'm definitely a shorts gal and I am picky about them, okay? So these are the legacy shorts from Gymshark. Again, they have a little bit longer of an inseam, not as long as those ones, but my thighs don't eat them. So like that's first priority. Um, and I love them because they have these little like bungees on the side so that you can like you know, cinch them up and it like makes it a little bit more flattering and like you can just choose your own adventure with that, which I love. I just like to have them up a little bit. It's just cute. Just adds a little something something. I also just love the back of these with like the V seaming on the back is really flattering on the booty. Um, I like the logo. I also have the matching sports bra to this. These do not have pockets. It's unfortunate, but I also have these in like three colors because that's how obsessed I am with them. They're amazing. Okay, that's it for clothes. Now let's move on to like some other fitnessy kind of thing. So I first wanna talk about, I feel like this is everywhere right now as like an ad. None of this is sponsored by the way, just putting that out there. It's me, you guys. <laughs> I don't have sponsors. Um, but these element drinks, these are electrolyte drinks, but they also have magnesium in them. And like, if you know anything about magnesium, we just love it. Magnesium just makes you feel good. It's good at balancing things, especially in women in particular. We love it, but also it's very high in electrolytes. These are like 
sweet and salty. These are not like your Gatorade, okay? These have a heavy amount of salt in them, but it's balanced out with the flavor and it's so good and so refreshing. And I can just like feel my body replenishing as I'm drinking this and it just feels so good. I also just feel like I'm so much clearer and have more energy throughout the day after I drink one of these. I usually will drink this like on my walk. So like as I'm sweating profusely because it's hot and humid outside, I'm replenishing that, <laughs> making sure like my body is balanced and I'm not, you know, dipping into the supply and getting too low. And they are so good. My favorite one is the citrus salt. I got this little variety pack off of Amazon because I wanted to try all of the flavors but citrus salt was definitely my favorite I would say then watermelon salt then the raspberry then orange orange is like last but I'll drink if it's there but it's not my favorite but yeah I wanted to try them I know it's everywhere right now everyone's sponsored by them I am not but like I can safely say I've tried them and I'm obsessed with them especially this summer and then another little drink that I'm obsessed with I'm a pre-workout gal, okay? I never used to be, and then I got really into pre-workout. I've been drinking the same pre-workout from Body for years and years and years and years and years. I love it, it's called Energize, it's amazing, it's all natural, no dyes, no whatever. But like, I have been drinking that for so long, and there's only one flavor by them that I like, which is the lemon one, because I don't like super sweet things. I like when things are sour, or salty, um, but I don't want salty pre-workout. <laughs> um, so I prefer that ones that have like a sour flavor to them. And then I found this brand through Brittany Lupton actually. So there's that and it's Beam, which is the brand is You Can Beam if you are looking for them on socials or whatever. And this is their sour peach rings. I'm gonna talk about peach rings in a second. <laughs> But like this flavor, if you like sour peach rings, is unbelievable. But they also have so many sour flavors. They have sour blue gummy, they have sour cherry, they have a watermelon candy one, which I've heard is like not too sweet. I haven't tried any of those personally, but I just love that this brand has so many sour options as opposed to sweet. That is my jam. So like, I cannot wait to try more. Also, this has caffeine in it, but not all of their pre-workouts do. You can get stim-free ones too, if that's what you're looking for. I'm a caffeine girl. This is what I drink first thing in the morning because I work out first thing in the morning. So I wake up with this. I have a little bit less than a scoop and that's what does it for me. I believe the serving size says, well, you could do one or two scoops. I do a little bit less than one scoop and it's perfect. It just wakes me up, makes me feel fueled and like I'm good to go for my workout. And this flavor, this flavor is like my all time favorite thing. I'm a peach ring gal and like anything sour. Oh my God, it's so good, so good. So definitely give it a whirl if you're looking for a new pre-workout. And then I also wanted to talk about the workouts that I have been doing and like where I've been getting all of my strength training stuff. I just figured it would be easier to have it like all in one video. So I have been following Brittany Lupton, which I've talked about her like three times now. I know, okay, it's not an obsession you guys. <laughs> I just like really am inspired by her and like she has a workout app inside of Playbook and Playbook is the app and then she has a bunch of different workout programs. Um, so I've been following those and and really enjoy pretty much all of the ones that I've tried so far. She has ones that like are gym focused and then she has at home ones too, which I've been following the at home ones and really love. I also love Mad Fit. She has a YouTube channel. I've been using her app for over a year now. I wanna say almost two years now. Really love it. And specifically her strength program, which she came out with, I wanna say like, six to eight months ago and it's amazing especially if you're a beginner weightlifter that one really I did that program back to back to back to back like so many times and then I started to like branch out as I felt like I had a good grasp on strength training again so that was like a per perfect beginner space for me and I really love it but also I really love anything that Maddie does she's incredible and she's always coming out with new stuff on her app and then also the Alive app by Whitney Simmons Whitney 
is like so freaking funny you guys if you follow her on instagram or tiktok like her workout her mic'd up workouts literally make me giggle i cannot she is so funny and so real um but she also has an app as well which i have tried out and really enjoyed some of those workouts too like i said i'm not back to the gym yet so i can't get the full extent of them but i've been following what i can at home and it's really been helping so that's like my go-to space for workouts all right we have two things left to talk about i have a tech category but i really only have one thing in the tech category and that is my headphones these were my birthday present from my husband these are soundcore headphones i wanted a pair that was like a little bit nicer but also not like the most expensive thing out there so i saw good reviews for these on amazon and i really love them so far they are noise canceling which was like the biggest thing that i wanted they are very comfortable i also have a beady little head <laughs> to tell in videos um but like my head is really small like a lot of the times i'll either get like kids hats or kids headphones because adult ones are too big for me these also sometimes feel ridiculous on my head but like when we're just embracing it they're so comfortable and they don't slip around and go anywhere and also they just work so well this is like what i wear when i'm listening to audiobooks uh workout like music whatever literally these all the time i don't edit in these but like other than that i'm wearing these and they're so comfortable and then my last category is food and i have one thing in this category and i said i was going to talk about peach rings and like this is where i talk about it sour patch kids peaches are better than peach rings i'm here for it i'm a stand for it i have eaten too many bags of sour patch kid peaches over the past few months but like i'm not mad about it they are so freaking good oh my god oh my god like if you like sour patch give watermelons no 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 those are out peaches are in and it's they're unbelievable okay they are addicting addicting i had serious trouble not eating the entire bag in one sitting they're so good so if you are a sour gal you like sour peach rings trust me when i say the sour patch kid peaches are 10 times better. I dare you to go find a bag today and try them. Come back and comment and tell me how right I am because I know that I am. And that is all that I have for you in this updated favorites video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of style video. It just helps me share more with you of like other things that I'm loving besides books. Also, maybe leave like three of your most favorite things that like aren't books in the comments below. It can be a podcast show, workout thing, music, like whatever it is. So share something that you are loving that's unbook related. Is that a word? No, but I'm making it one right now. And in the comments please like let's share and like just keep this list going that would be so fun if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe if you are not already turn the bell so you never miss a video and i will see you in my next one bye with you and i the few